The name's Lazy. Too lazy to do a proper intro. Here, screw it, who cares? Hey there guys, how are you? So I'm in my new room now, and uh, this is kind of where the, I don't know, I don't want to use the term magic, because that's a little too mystical. Anyway, this is where most of my videos will take place from now on, and I'm still working on it, I still have some pictures to hang up and movie posters, but anyway, here's my review for 007 Skyfall. And I'm not going to spoil anything in this review for you guys, I, but there's so much to talk about, it's hard to really get in depth without talking about spoilers, but I won't, it's okay, you're safe with me, I'm nurturing you under my bosom. So anyway, Skyfall, well, you know what, the first half of this movie, I was kind of a little bit disappointed. But it opens up with a big action shot, and there's a lot of story, a lot of story, and it's kind of interesting, and then it kind of gets a little bit stagnant. And then you have one scene where there's some Komodo dragon who eats a Chinese guy. It was a little bit underwhelming, because, you think a Komodo dragon's in this in the in this pit where they're fighting, and that's that's all we get is 007 jumping on top of him and then leaping upward. Another thing about the first half of this movie was I kept comparing it to Casino Royale. You know, I love that movie. I have no complaints whatsoever. That was my kind of 007 movie. But I'll be damned that bloody disappointment. I don't know what that was. And then you get into the second half of the movie, and that's where it just, the movie went from okay, and then it went to badass, epic thrill ride, great characters, intensity, um, you know, character development, a lot of little nods and throwbacks to the original 007. I mean, they even talk about an ejector seat. I mean, the second half of this movie was like night and day. You went from, you know, okay to kind of, you know, going along to just like, boom, in my face, there's a gun here. Uh, Javier Bardem is standing over there with bleach blonde hair, who, by the way, Javier, ha, ha, Javier, Caviar, Caviar Chef Boy RD, what the fuck am I saying? That is an iconic villain. They finally gave 007 another iconic villain. It hasn't happened in a long time, but he did it. This guy's like a six foot five bleach blonde, computer hacking, weird, kind of a little bit sexual predator-ish, and that's the creepiest villain to me. That's the one that you don't want to be too close to. It's like, you can torture me, just don't do, you know. And another thing about the villain that was kind of surprising, he's not even introduced into the movie until halfway through it. Anyway, there's one scene in this movie of Javier Bardem and uh, M, and it's just really creepy and intense, and it takes place in this Magneto slash Hannibal Lecter type glass cell. You guys seen a little snippet of that in the trailer, but anyway, that was an intense scene, and that scene will be burned into my memory. Now, as far as characters and development go, well, you know what? We learn a lot more about everyone we've already come to know, but we get more of a, a backstory, and we really dive into their soul and who they are. And they also introduce some new characters, such as Q, who is kind of like this young hipster type kid. You, you would imagine him working in like a, a Mac store. Anyway, he's kind of like the new arms master for 007, and kind of like a techie kind a nerd guy and I can really see them utilizing him more in 007 movies down the road. Now a few other things I want to talk about real quick and this is only you guys who have seen the movie will really understand this but the third act of this movie where the, the big action scene takes place and everything goes down it kind of reminded me of Home Alone when they were setting up some booby traps like they're setting up all these booby traps getting ready for it and uh, it, I don't know did that did anyone else get the Home Alone vibe like everything was there except for the little blueprint that he draws in crayon. And also to be a nitpicky asshole, in one of the scenes in the movie where these people are trying to get away and they're trying to be real secretive so they can live, they're running away in this dark field with a flashlight and the bad guy looks over, oh, there's a flashlight, let's go get him. So anyway, like I said before, the first half of this movie was a little bit underwhelming, but the second half I was definitely blown away by. So overall, I have to give the new 007 Skyfall movie an A. So Skyfall is definitely worth checking out. You know, it's it's definitely on the same level as Casino Royale. You know, they're kind of teeter-tottering back and forth. I think Casino Royale is a little bit ahead of it. And then you got uh, Quantum of Solace, which is, I don't, it's down there in the toilet. So anyway, guys, that's my review for Skyfall. Check it out. And uh, if you get a chance, check out my last video. Um, I do a little room tour before I moved out. And by the way, um, I need some foam padding on the walls. I'm getting an echo vibe in here. I don't like it. I feel like I'm hearing voices in my head. Anyway, guys, <laughs> take care. I'll see you next time.